Okay, everybody, I've got my new toy here. It's the DJI Mavic Mini, and I got the uh, Fly More Combo package, which has some extra things in the box, including some extra batteries and some goodies. I'm gonna unbox it. I'm really, really excited. This is my very first real drone. So I have this other drone that uh, I bought a couple years ago, and I've never really used it because it is just terrible. It is the Telio, this little sucker here. And this thing takes 720p and it records on the phone. There's no internal storage here. So if you fly it more than five feet from you, the image gets distorted. It's not even a good image either. And there's no tilt mechanism. It's not made for outdoors. In fact, any kind of wind will blow this thing away. So I've never really used it other than just like a little toy here in my house. So it does not come with internal storage. You need to purchase a separate micro SD card. That's not very expensive. And at the store, they gave me this little tote bag here. The future of possible DJI. So I don't know if I'll ever use this. I mean, I guess it's, I could use it as a shopping bag, perhaps. Just add it to the pile of the other million bags that I have. 249 gram ultra light, that's important. Most countries for FAA regulations, you keep it under. 30 minutes max flight time. Four kilometers of HD video transmission. Vision sensor GPS precise hover, but it doesn't have the collision sensor in the front, but it does have the three axis gimbal at 2.7K camera. Yeah, I love that feeling of tearing the plastic off. Ah, I guess everything is in this little pouch here. That's pretty high quality. It's a good standard little camera box. Oh my god, this thing is super small. Look at that. And it weighs nothing. It's kind of a cheap plastic, but it's not like super tinny kind of plastic. The propellers are taped up. So let's set this aside for now. What else do we have here? Okay, so this is the battery pack. USB-A and a micro USB. This is, yeah, so here's the controller. Straight out of the box. Holds it down like this. And there's your input right here. These are the um, little controller pegs. They actually snap into place and then you just screw them on. Oh, oh my God, don't lose that. That's black. Where'd it go? Oh no. Oh my God, did I lose it already? I got a dark carpet here. Oh, look at that. I found it. Don't lose that. This thing will get sucked up in every vacuum cleaner. So as I was saying, this thing should just screw in actual battery life in here, it looks like. Oh, look at that. So it actually does give you some extra pegs in case you lose yours. That's great. Here's your connectors for both micro USB and the Thunderbolt. Some extra propellers. It does come with a little screwdriver. Unlike the other drones, the only way to remove the propellers on this is using this. Spare parts, always a good thing. Oh, these are the propeller uh, guards. Maybe as a, um, a newbie to drones, it might be a smart thing for me to use these. But uh, yeah, I'll carry them with me just in case. This looks like all the paperwork, documentation. Yep, I have a million of these <laughs> for every little accessory and every little gadget I've ever bought. Yeah, here's the batteries. You can feel the weight. So while those batteries are charging up behind me, I want to show you why I think this is such a, a cool little toy. Uh, obvious reasons having a drone for my channel would be excellent. And I promise you, I will not flood my channel with nothing but drone shots, save for maybe one video, uh, as I learn to fly this thing. As you guys know, I love to go hiking and trail running, right? It's one of the things I love to do here in China. And I have my trail running bag here, and this thing is so small, it'll fit right inside here like this, so I can run to some distant waypoint, take out the drone, film what's all around me, and show you guys just how beautiful a lot of the wilderness is here. Also, coming up soon, I wanna do a series on architecture in China. Okay, so it's a nice quiet day, a little bit of a wind. They said, because it's your first time flying, you should go to an open field. So that's where I am. But this will be my first time flying a drone outside 
<laughs> I'm really excited. I think I got all the firmware downloaded. You have to register it with a Chinese mainland phone number. I, I'm assuming I'll be able to fly freely here at the university. I'm the only one here except for the construction workers over there. So this thing is so tiny that I've already lost it. I have no idea where it is. need more practice around here out in this field before I take it into the city and take it out on some hiking trips with me but oh super stoked a little toy a compliment and I'm looking forward to incorporating this into future vlogs we'll talk to you later everybody be safe